Welcome to our daily word this morning. As you can see, I've chosen to be outside again this morning. It is a beautiful morning outside. So out here in the shelter, uh, preparing um, for mission trip. Lots of work going into that. And I have to get the shelter ready. Um, get these tables pulled off to the side so that we can have worship here on Sunday morning. So I hope you plan to join us as we worship outside. Dress casually, bring your lawn chairs, bring what is comfortable, and we'll worship here in the shelter um, on Sunday morning. Also, I'm working on Father's Day pictures, so if you haven't sent me any pictures for Father's Day, um, please do that. Text them, email them, and I'll get them included in our Father's Day slideshow. So, um, thanks for joining me this morning, as always, for carving out time to be with me and sharing our lives together. Just a reminder, because of mission trip next week, there will not be a daily word next week, but we will join again um, on Monday, June 19th. So today is daily word number 735, Isaiah 30, verse 21. Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way walk in it. So in this scripture, Isaiah is prophesying to the remnant of the people that are left in Israel. And he tells them that God will be with them. More than that, he tells them that God is with them. He says to them that their leaders will be empowered as servants of God and he tells them this extraordinary truth that I think we probably um, fail to hear sometimes, but need to hear as well. No matter where you go, the presence of God is transcendent. It's always with us. So, in whatever way we choose to walk, we should choose to go with courage and with character. Now, I know that sometimes uh, we get bogged down in the logistics of life. Where should we go? What should we do? What choice should we make? And of course, these are important questions for all of us to consider. What gets us in trouble, and I think what gets us often in trouble, is that we make idols of the answers to these questions. And we say, God told me to go this way, and no matter what, I'm going this way. And we never consider the whole piece of what God has called us to. The truth of the matter is, right, for all of us, there are good choices and there are bad choices. There are things in life we ought to avoid, we ought to turn from and go the other way. But often in life, in my life and in probably yours, there are an array of choices before us that are two good options. You simply have to choose. 34 years ago, Diana and I were just talking about this, 34 years ago, um, before we moved to Sydney, I had an offer of a job in Sydney. And on the very same day, probably five minutes apart, I had an offer of a job in Marysville. Two excellent jobs, two excellent opportunities, two excellent chances to make a difference. Um, Two excellent chances to live in really good places and in really good communities. And there wasn't a bad choice that we made. There were two good options. We chose to come to Sydney. Not because Marysville was bad, but because Sydney felt like the right thing. I think that happens to us more than we realize. God's will isn't about one good option over another good option. God's will for us is that we will choose and then walk faithfully in that choice. But when we make an idol of, of our answers, you know, then we sometimes miss the point of what God's calling us to. Then it gets, it gets out of order. When we decide, you know, to be people of peace and love and joy and hope and faith, circumstances then lead us to the decision to live out what God's calling us to. So God's saying, 
to the people of Israel, this remnant of people that are left, whether you turn to the left or turn to the right, whether you live in Sydney or live in Marysville, as it was in the case for Diane and I, let your ears, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. Wherever we go, whatever we decide, whatever good choice that we make, God is with us. Not only will God be with us, but God is with us. Finding the right way, you know, in life isn't a matter of logistics. It's a matter, really, of recognizing where we are and who God is calling us to be. When we acknowledge God, when we worship God, when we follow in God's ways, we discover that the right way isn't about where we go, but who we trust, and that trust is in God. And so, you know, for us, as we live our lives, as we share them together, you know, when we get ready to go on mission trip, I was sharing this conversation about mission trip with our conference minister on Sunday at lunch. Asked me where we were going and, and how we chose to go there. And I said, well, the first year uh, we went there because I had gone to another place um, on a fast, faithful advocates serving together mission trip, which was for a few years, a combination of United Church of Christ, Disciples of Christ uh, mission trips. And it came up again. So we said, well, let's go here for our very first mission trip. There were other places, there were other options, places we could have went that I was familiar with, but we chose to go to Deer Lodge a cup, out of a couple of good options. What we found there was this amazing community of people. And we, we love them, and they love us, and that's why we've gone back again and again and again. That's why we continue to go, um, because, because the good choice of being there. It's amazing. We always, we always, 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 and I think anybody who's gone would attest to this, hear the voice behind us saying, this is the way, walk in it. Friends, in all of our lives, that's where we are. It's the choices that we make. It's where God lives in us. So whether we turn to the left or the right, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. God will be with us, and God is with us. And that's such good news as we live our lives and as we go about doing all the things that God has called us to do. So, thanks for being with me again this morning out in the shelter. Thanks for sharing um, your time with me this morning and saying good morning. I'm always grateful for it. So, I will see you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Know of God's love that surrounds you. Know of my love for you. Have a great day, my friends.